Hello everyone, uh, my research is about uh, MongoDB data lake. So what is the data lake? Uh, data lake is a centralized repository that allow you to store all your structured and unstructured data at any scale. So you can uh, store your data as it is uh, without having to first structure the data. Uh, after that you store, uh, you can run different type of uh, anal analytics from those data so you can see here is structured and unstructured data so you can see the unstructured unstructured data like image audio video uh, and any kind of things uh, we can uh, put into the data lake so why are we building uh, data lakes as i said earlier we build this to collect any type of data and save it for future use you know nowadays uh, business have a huge amount of various type of data uh, international data cooperation uh, or idc predict that uh, by 2025 global data will be reach 175 setabytes and 49 percent of it will be reside in the public cl cloud and also cloud storage is very cost effective and so most of them are think like can't we do that using data warehouse so what what are the differences uh, in data warehouse and data lake data warehousing is about about the collection of data from the variety of sources for meaningful business insight it is kind of electronic storage for massive amount of uh, information not the raw data uh, data lake is is a centralized centralized storage uh, repository that hold massive amount of structured and unstructured raw data so you can see here it is uh, it is it has the raw data and after that you can do the analysis but in here it's processed and stored in a data data warehouse it's processed and stored in the uh, data warehouse so uh, here are some uh, differences uh, i could find i could found uh, so the data is structure uh, in a data lake is uh, data is uh, data is raw and it could be any type and structured semi structured semi structured unstructured and it's it's captured in its original form and in a data warehouse it's the data is processed and only structured information is captured and uh, organized in schemas uh, in a data lake uh, ideal users uh, kind of like a data scientist and who use uh, advanced data analytical uh, tools for the ideal for the uh, data warehouse ideal for the operational users such as like a business professional and uh, who use the analytics after uh, done that so the storage when we compare the storage cost it is very relatively inexpensive in a data lake and it's time consuming and costly in data warehouse and the when we think about the accessibility it's uh, in a data lake it's like really easy to access and uh, it has high accessibility uh, but in a data warehouse uh, it's costly to make changes and thereby it's really uh, quite complicated so the uh, schemas when we think about the schemas is schema is defined after data is stored uh, and thus make it in highly uh, agile uh, so the data warehouse schema is defined before data is stored uh, thus offering the performance uh, performance and security thus so the data processing when we think about the data processing it's use the uh, elt for the data uh, lake that means extract load and transform process and the data warehouse use uh, etl extract transform and load so what is that as mongodb data lake uh, so the mongodb solution for querying data stored in low cost aws uh, s3 bucket using the mongodb query language so in here it allow analytic application to make use of uh, archived data for all data processing needs also using uh, mongo 
you can query your data stored in JSON, BSON, CSV, or any uh, many other data types uh, using Mongo Shell and MongoDB Compass or any other MongoDB driver, or you can use your uh, command line to uh, access those data uh, and without uh, data movement or uh, transformation. So why do we use Mong why do why MongoDB data lake? Uh, it supports multiple format. You can uh, analyze data stored in JSON, BSON, and any many other data uh, type without any complexity. Also, you could save uh, cost and time because you don't want to uh, data to ingest or transformation. Also, Mongo has a powerful modulus and easy to understand aggregation using uh, MongoDB query language. After you ran query, you can transfer the result to your uh, preferred preferred storage tier. Uh, you can run uh, you can run a single query to analyze your live MongoDB atlas data and historical uh, historical data on Amazon S3 together to get a meaningful insight. And it's a uh, serverless, so there's no infrastructure to set up and manage. So you could easily uh, so you could save time and and money uh, you want to pay only for the queries you run and only when you actively actively working with your data so you can so there's no hidden fees or anything so when you run uh, your queries you have to pay that it's really a small amount i will show it in next slide and this one is fully integrated with mongodb cloud platform for provisioning and access billion support so as i said earlier billion is a very uh, well the charges are very low uh, atlas charge for the total number of uh, bytes that uh, data lake process from your aws s3 bucket uh, it's five dollar per terabyte of uh, process data and a minimum of uh, i don't know like a 10, me 10 megabyte or like a it's like a uh, actual amount like 0005 it's a very very bit it's less than very very less than the one cents per query uh, and also if you are not sure about what you are looking at and you can use partition strategies and com uh, compression in aws uh, s3 to reduce the amount of data processed so now i am going to show you all how to create the atlas data lake so the fir first step is prepare your S3 bucket in AWS. To do that, you need to have a AWS uh, account and uh, AWS S3, need to create the AWS S3 bucket. Uh, I'm not going to go through the S3 bucket configuration, but you need to log into the AWS console and navigate to the S3 service and create a new bucket for the data and upload your data. And you need to verify the uh, S3 bucket. So the second step is uh, deploy the uh, data lake. So first you need to uh, log into the MongoDB Atlas and it will show something like this and select the data lake option on the left hand navigation and uh, click the uh, configure new uh, data lake uh, button. And it will show something like this and you need to review the overview and click the green configure a uh, uh, new data lake uh, button so in in this section you will uh, do all the things what is in here so first you will create a nws im role for the atlas to use and th then you will give the atlas user read only access to s3 bucket you want to query and you will connect to your data lake with mongo shell and map your s3 directories and database databases and collections uh, then you can build and run your queries in mongo shell mongo compass or any other mongodb drivers so in here you want to enter your name for your data lake uh, after you click the configure new data lake button uh, you need to click the uh, you want to enter the name for your data lake as you want to 
want it to appear in the atlas and click next and in here enter the name of your s3 rocket and then click and click save and continue you can enter the more than uh, one bucket in here if you have a different different buckets you can put uh, comma and put other buckets name and in this section uh, here it's create a am role for atlas and assign the required policy uh, in here first you enter the uh, enter name for the aws i am role i use uh, my user id as a louis uh, then you need to save this uh, document as a json uh, file in this name and this describes the uh, trust policy that you will need to create and i am role in the next step in here uh, in here you need to in here you need to run this command in the command line uh, interface aws command line interface uh, first create an uh, i am role for the atlas to uh, use so aws i am create role role name louis uh, assume role policy amount uh, the document that we saved in earlier and the uh, and again you have to save another uh, document this document as also from the json file and with the uh, this uh, name uh, so in here it's like a policy i am role policy it's going to use in the next step so uh, in here uh, you are creating i am role for atlas and assign the required policy uh, attaching the required policy uh, so next you need to enter the enter this command and to attach the role policy to uh, role you created in each step uh, you need to do that also in the uh, aws uh, command line so after that uh, you it will create the uh, arn uh, ARN number and you need to put that one in here i didn't put that one in mine in here and i'm in here and you need to click the validate and launch after that uh, it will come come to here uh, the step three is connect to your data lake uh, you need to click the clusters and uh, select your uh, cluster you created from your data base name and click connect button and it will then it will allow you to create a, a new user in here so type whatever the username you need and create a password in here uh, in this section uh, click the connect with a mongo shell you can connect with the if you need to you can connect with the mongo compass i normally connect with the mongo shell so click the uh, connect mongo shell and and you need to copy this uh, command uh, and put your database name and your username in uh, username and you need to put the your da database name after that and copy this one and uh, paste into the mongo shell and run that one uh, then you can do the queries uh, from the uh, mongo compass and this is the mongodb atlas data lake uh, architecture you can see it here on uh, data uh, lake uh, nodes in here those things in the aws s3 bucket uh, regions uh, and the data lake compute nodes in here and this one is in the uh, this section is in the mongodb atlas uh, control mongodb atlas uh, this is the endpoint connect into the mongodb to uh, mongodb atlas to uh, aws and after that uh, you created that one uh, you can connect it to any kind of apps and mongodb compass mongodb shell and any kind of uh, bi connectors uh, like power bi or clickview or any anything and also you can uh, create a 
data science tools, something like connect to the Python and do the machine learning stuff. And you can do the statistic also, uh, those things. And in future, uh, right now, MongoDB has only the uh, connection to the AWS. In future, they are going to connect to the Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud, and they are going to build a itself data lake also. Thank you very much.